with more time than me. I'm just sort of doing this for demo for you. So we've got the sort of basic shape now, this nice rose. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go into a little bit of a medium and then I'm just going to squeeze this. And now I'm going to go back into my medium again. And I'm going to go now into the titanium white. I'm going to pull down a lot of titanium white. Put it one way and the other way. And some more medium. Just to make it nice and shiny. You'll know whether you've got enough medium on there. If it's nice and shiny. It's got a nice sheen to it. I don't want it too runny. Like ink. But we do want it to be enough medium so it's nice and shiny so what I'm going to do now is we're going to pull from the outside edges in so we we'll to start from here we're going to go around the outside edge using this, the same thing with the point so I'm going to start using the very tip here I'll we'll start from at the top here around this edge And this is just to define now these petals. Okay, that's the idea. We're just going to define the petals. Now, if if you find it difficult to do using that brush, we can just use a little round brush or um, a little rigger brush, and we can go into it using that okay so spin this around so that's nice and thin and we can use that to go in the edges to bring these petals alive come around this one again you see the way it really stands out once we put some of this white around the edges it really does make it pop as they call it so come around here again if your hand is shaky do not panic because that's a good thing and this also by putting this white on here covers up any uh, of the pencil lines that you may have left on there don't forget keep adding a little bit of the medium guys if it goes a bit dry, just keep spinning this around, come around here, and this just really defines these petals, I'm really going to break the petals up, so once I've done this bit I'm going to go on to this one here, around here, and again you know you you can keep this very fine, very thin, and um, we were a very thin liner brush. But again, it is not too, not too fast because this is all gonna look lovely when it's finished anyway. So a bit more medium, a bit more of the white. Spin this round, I'll spin it round. Try and get it as thin as possible. And I'm gonna come along here. So, take that in there, and I'm just really going round the outline of, of what we had before, but hopefully this should make it stand out. So, I'll come round to here. Or medium and then I'm going to pull some of the white inwards after with this so, these are just a few steps just very simple steps to create a really effective really good looking rose I hope you will find this 
nice and easy to do. It's not too bad for us, is it, guys? We can do this. You can do this. You can do this easy. Just filling in. We're just filling in. Following lines that we've already drawn earlier on. A bit of medium, a bit of white. Side. This brush isn't the uh, thinnest the brush. I seem to have lost some of my uh, liner brushes. They keep disappearing. Either that or I forget to clean them, which isn't a good sign. But Oh, I am a lazy painter and I do forget to clean my brushes, I must admit. I put them in a pot of thinners and things and then they dry out on me. So I ever buy new ones. Okay, just keep following these around guys, following the lines. These petals. This is like um, very therapeutic, as they say. I would call it. I'm going up. I haven't got the uh, too shaky hands, so it's not too bad. But some people have got really shaky hands. But it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Just get it done. Around. I do hope you can see all the bits and pieces on the video. It looks like it's uh, picking it up quite well, which is a good thing. So, we're nearly there. Won't be long. There. Nice. Coming on nicely. I'll take that into there a little bit more. This edge. Hopefully more heads not in the way. is just filling in guys I'm just all I'm doing is I'm just going on the outside of these lines literally that's all I'm doing one there like so and I think that that's filled that in nicely now once I've done that I will just get my brush again brush. Let's find another brush. A nice thin to do. This is a half inch one. Is yes, we'll go into some medium again. Just pull down a little bit of white. And I'll just here and there, just from the edge, I'll just flick in just a few. Just flick inwards from the petals. Out from outwards in. So just start and just flick this in. A few little bits of white. Pull a bit. Of, pull some of the white inwards. Um, while it's still wet, you'll find that it will pull in. You don't want too much, um, but just follow the petal shape. So this petal is leaning this way. So I'm just going to touch and just a light flick. And it pull a few of these strands of the white into 
the colour itself, which again makes it look more realistic and nice. So, so it looks like it's got strains of colour. So, I won't do all of them. You can spend a lot more time on yours, obviously. I just want to show you the technique. You can pull something down the top here. A little bit of white and pull it in. Just touch and pull it in. That I'm going to pull up. Put it down there. So you can see I've just sort of pulled some colour in there. And if it doesn't pull in though, you can just get a little touch more um, and just touch on the outside and just flick it a bit more. So you can get more afterwards. Okay, you can load the brush a bit more. So that's that part done. I'm, I'm quite happy with that. Um, I'm going to, I'll touch that up later. I'm not happy with this bit here, so what I'll do, I'll just get with a dark, I'll add some dark on here, and I'm just going to go around this outside edge. But I'll just flip that out. That's it. Okay, now, in the middle here, I'm just going to use my little liner, or round brush, squeeze that in there. And I'm going to go into a little bit of Van Dyke Brown, pull that down, and then I'm going to get some white, just a sort of like a darky sort of mixed colour, and some medium. Okay, mix that around. And then in the centre here, I'm just going to a bit of dark in this area here. Okay, first for that colour, and then I'm going to wipe that, and then I'm going to go straight into the Van Dyke Brown uh, without mixing, and then I'm going to do a few dots with that colour. There, and then I'm going to go into some medium, and then go into some white. And then I'm going to put white dots in there as well. Okay, I don't know whether the video is going to pick that up, but hopefully it should pick it up nicely. Okay, so next part is you're going to come down and brush. Use a big brush or a small brush, it doesn't matter. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to make some sort of green colour up for the leaves and stem. So go into some medium. So basically I'm going to get some yellow, put it down here, and I'm going to get a little touch of blue. And a bit more medium. There we are, sort of greeny colour. And with that colour, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in these leaves. So I'm just going to follow the shape of the leaves again, like we did before, like we did with the rose. I'm just going to pull that in. It's a lovely green colour. Just pull it in from the side, pull it inwards, like so. And I'm purposely keeping it smooth one side and sort of a bit ruffled. Pull it in with the point of the brush on that side. If it gets a bit dry, like I said, go back into a little bit of medium and just pull this back in like so. Like that. So I'm just basically just sort of getting the colour on it to start with. A little bit of medium, back into green, and then this side. And again, I'm putting everything into this centre point here, guys, so I'm just going to Pull the line and I'm going to pull this down a bit more colour. Pull it down. There we go. And this side, 
this is ruffled up, I'm just literally just pulling the brush that way. In there. Okay, now I'm going to make this a little bit darker. I'm just going to get a little bit more blue. Put this blue on top, on top of what we had before. So this becomes a lot darker. And I'm going to pull that straight down here. A little bit medium. Very carefully as I go up to the, the rows, I'm just going to take it up to there. And it's got little points that stick out the side. So I'm just going to do a little point at the side there. Come down. And there's another one there, I think. One over there. Let's just do one over there. And pull that down. Pull that right off, I think. Something like that. there like so so I just sort of pulled it up there and then I'm just going to run this into a little bit of yellow and I'm just going to pull this just down through the colour so you get like a little streak of colour running through there again it makes it more natural now with this dark that we've got I'm going to put on the top half of this over the top of the green I'm just going to pull this like so okay so you still got a little bit of the green showing through it but you've got like another tone and same with this one with the top I'm just going to pull that from the outside edge down here okay I like half of it okay and the other half without any loading the brush I'm just going to touch and flick in. So I touch and flick in. So I touch and flick towards the centre line. Like that. So it creates these nice little effects. And then I'm going to go into some yellow. And I'm going to touch where the line is in the middle and just do a line going right to the middle. So touch the yellow. From there, I'm just going to pull. It's too much, so I'm just going to double it down. Just a highlight going into there. So, I think we have a finished rose, guys. So, I hope you like following along this very simple tutorial. Again, I will put the link to the template and the all the colours I've used down below. Um, again, don't forget, ladies, please subscribe as well as you guys. Click the link button, subscribe, like, and hit the bell icon, and then you'll get notified every time I do one of these videos, you should get notification. So thanks very much, it's Mark Terrell for Paint and Mike signing off, and I hope you like this video, and you'll see more of these videos to come. Thanks guys.